life on the Red Horse Ranch. Steve Bradford has made Sam Carter an offer for his Red Horse Ranch. Carter, who has suffered financial reverses during the winter, may be forced to sell. So far, no one has been able to find out what Bradford wants with this property and other ranches which he has already purchased. It's evening. Rose is sitting on the broad veranda of the ranch house, listening as the boys sing down at the bunkhouse. We will miss your bright eyes. And sweet smile, for they say you are taking the sunshine that brightens our pathway of life. Won't you think of the valley you're leaving? Oh, how lonely, how sad. Dad, on the veranda. Please come out and sit down a while. Yes, I might as well. Anything on your mind, Rose? Uh, something your old dad don't know about? No, of course not. I was just listening to the boys down in the bunkhouse. Oh, don't you love to hear them sing? Yes, they sing as well as the punch cattle. Uh, there ain't a better, more loyal outfit in the whole range than they are. I know. Alabama and Tex, Bob, Tenderfoot, Cheyenne, and all the rest. They always seem so happy, don't they? Yes, and still there ain't a one of them that knows where his next pays are coming from. Yet they haven't made one word to complain about it. Oh, but Dad, they feel just like I do, that everything's going to be all right, that you're not going to have to give up the ranch. Well, I, I wish I felt so sure. I, I, I didn't want you to know, Rose. Oh, but why shouldn't I know, Dad? You'd have told Mother before she died. Yes, Rose, and, and somehow Mother would have pulled us through. And, Dad, I've taken her place now. I can do the same somehow. Oh, please don't sell to Steve, Dad. Well, Steve's a pushing me for an answer. Offers to pay cash. That'd go a long way towards setting up my debts and uh, and sending you back to school, Rose. Oh, but I'm not going back to school. I'm staying out here with you. <laughs> yeah, you're a carter for sure, Rose. You bet. Yeah, but I got a feeling some good-looking young punch is going to ride off with you one of these oh. days. <laughs> now, Dad, don't be silly. Well, Steve Bradford's uh, sort of taking a liking to you. Well, Steve is nice. Yes, uh, 
Yeah, I wish I knew more about him or what he wants with all this land. He, he, he's trying to make a deal for that hill land over on the Leaning Y, so I hear. He's already bought the party and the lazy edge. Well, don't worry about it, Dad. Listen, Montana's playing his accordion. It's La Golandrina, isn't it? Oh, the night's so still, it seems Montana is right on the veranda with us. to Monty to play that sort of music. No, it was beautiful, wasn't it, Dad? You don't know how I missed all this when I was away. <laughs> I was a little scared when you come back home with some notions. They do things different back there. Oh, I did enjoy it. But their music, their talk, somehow it didn't always ring true. No. Uh, these boys sing out here because they just bust plumb wide open if they didn't. I eh? know. And people do different things. If they want new entertainment, they have to go to a show or, or find something to amuse them. But out here, a person can just get on a horse and ride just as far and as long as he wants to and never tire of it. <laughs> yes, uh, on some horse like uh, Blackie. <laughs> oh, Dad, did somebody tell you? <laughs> I know all about it, Rosa. Oh, I oh. saw it from the veranda. <laughs> well, I'm awfully sorry. I know you told me not to ride Blackie, but she really is gentle. Somebody shot a gun, and that frightened her. I wish I knew where them shots come from. So do I. Uh, but, Rose, now, uh, just for your old dad's sake, uh, don't take no more chances. You, you're still my little gal, you know. Oh, now, listen to you. Alabama's the same way about red, and I think I can ride as good as any man you've got in the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, I, I can see you're getting plumb away from me. <laughs> uh, you'll have your own way, I suppose. You'd better <laughs> say that. But I will be careful after this, Dad. I promise. <laughs> well... I wonder who that can be riding in this late. Mm, he's stopping here, isn't he? Yes. Uh, evening, partner. Howdy, Mr. Carter. Oh, it's Steve. As soon as I drop my reins, I'll be right up. Steve, yes. Uh, I guess he's come for my answer. Well, it's a right nice evening, Mr. Carter. Yes. <laughs> oh, hello, Rose. I hello. didn't see you out here. <laughs> hello, Steve. We were both out here listening to the boys sing. Well, that seems to be quite a pleasant diversion at the Red Horse Ranch. Yes. Uh, mind sitting out here on the veranda? No, no, not at all. Uh. Oh, this is fine. Feeling all right today, Rose? <laughs> yes, thank you. I guess Blackie's more the worse for the runaway than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lucky I was there to save you. You know, I'm glad I didn't tell Alabama just what I thought about him, letting you ride a dangerous horse like that. Oh, but Blackie's not dangerous, Steve. She's just gun-shy. It was those gunshots. Mm. Ever find out who fired the shots? Well, Alabama's sure that nobody in the corral shot them. Well, Mr. Bradford, there's nothing I can say to tell you how thankful I am for what you did. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Carter. I suppose most any man would have done the same. Yes, but it took some quick thinking. Oh, Mr. Carter, uh, I hate to come to the point so suddenly, but uh, I've got to have your answer about selling the Red Horse Ranch. Well, uh, I expected you did. It's a mighty hard thing to decide, Mr. Bradford. Oh, you can find some other ranch as soon as you get on your feet again. Rose here should go back to school. Dad... Couldn't we wait till Alabama... I'm sorry, Miss Rose. I've waited as long as I can now. I'm offering cash for the red horse, and, well, I've got to close the deal. Could I ask you why you want all this land around here, Bradford? Well, I just figure it's a good investment. Oh, come, Mr. Carter, what's your answer? Dad, please don't decide yet. All the boys, Alabama... They... I don't see why one of the ranch hands like Alabama should tell Mr. Carter what to do. I usually make my own decisions, Mr. Bradford. <laughs> Yes, of course, I'm sorry. But I can't afford to wait. Well, as long as it's come to that, I... 
I don't see any other way. I'm mighty sorry, Rose, but... Listen, Dad. Texas singing Mother's old song. Yes. Beautiful life. Uh, do you mind if I think for a minute or two? No, not at all. Mary, Mary, a few more days and I must go to meet the deeds that I have done, where there will be no setting sun to be a child. Of God each day, my light must shine along the way. I'll sing His praise while ages roll. Strive to help some troubled soul. The only life that will. Is one that's kind and good and pure, and so for God I'll take my stand. Each day I lend a helping hand. I'll help someone in time of need and journey on. Made up my mind. Ah, fine, fine. I knew you'd see it my way, Mr. Carter. Well, we'll take care of the sale right away. Just a minute, Mr. Bradford. Yes? I'm not going to sell it. Dad, oh, Dad. Sam Carter has decided he will not sell the Red Horse Ranch. Is Bradford going to accept his decision? And remember, the mystery of Bradford's presence in the country has not yet been solved. Be listening for life on Red Horse Ranch. <laughs>